bitch nigga miss me with it. Bitch nigga miss me with it. Turn it. What is going on people? It is currently 11.32 in the AM. Just had online client stuff to do. Mondays is always the same. Um, online client update. So yeah, not gonna bore you with that. But right now, I just got to the gym. Metroflex as usual. Not sure if you can even see that shit. And right now I'm about to hit a leg session. So this week is the Wendler 531 week three. Um, next week will be a deload and then I'll start the next three week cycle after that so, but it's been going pretty well it's been going pretty well Hope, today I'm I'm feeling quite good I was craving squats when the fuck does that happen I was literally craving you know like you'd crave like pie I was craving squats yesterday and I said it to Naisha and she was just looking at me like I was some crazy fool but yeah Anywho, <laughs> let's head into the gym and then I'll take you through most of the workout. I'm not going to bore you with the whole workout. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through like the highlights and shit like that. So yeah, let's see who's in there as well. Maybe Mark's in there, don't know. All right, let's head inside. All right, guys, so I've started with um, calves upstairs. If you've seen uh, Untamed episode two, um, it has to always start with calves. to start with the seated calf raise and then the donkey calf raise and then did a couple warm-up sets on a smith machine now the reason i did this on the smith machine is okay so the whole concept of squatting is the bar needs to go straight up and down right so why not use something that goes straight up and down so it's just to make sure that my alignment's always right because i always find that when my when i start getting knee problems it's because my I have alignment issues or um and the alignment issues cause other muscles not to fire, if you get what I mean. So my glute mid on my right side wasn't firing and it just, yeah, leads to complications. So I use that to make sure that everything's firing. Um, I watch a lot of Bradley Martin's videos for squatting. Um, he, technically, he's good. So um, yeah, that's who I kind of follow for squatting. Five reps at 150, three reps at 170, one rep at 190. I'll put what it is on pounds in the screen, on the screen. And this is calculated off my max, which I've always been stuck at. Every time I get good at squats, I always get stuck at this, this weight at two, 226, which is 500 pounds. I get that for like one, maybe two reps sometimes, and I can never get past it. So that's why I'm using this to kind of build on and get past. So yeah, enough of me talking, I'm going to get to work. many of you are, are like this but my workouts are literally dictated by the music that I'm listening to so like just before I left I was listening to Ellie Golden and that track is one of those deep thoughtful ones you know when you have like a big set of like loads of reps on like leg press or something and you just need to like keep it controlled and enjoy enjoy the lifting that's the type of stuff that I listen to then and then right now for squats and stuff a bit more up tempo but these never, never come off, <laughs> unless I'm talking to you guys, so.
Yo, so back home from the gym. Good session actually. I was really impressed with the squats, especially. Um, just kind of like the the speed it went up, and then the 190 squat. I made sure it was a pause rep. Um, Cause I don't know, maybe along the way of this doing this series and doing this training, I might do a powerlifting meet. If you want me to do a powerlifting meet, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, I'm th it's definitely on the cards. I'm definitely thinking about it. But uh, yeah, so right now I am gonna have my post workout shake, and then I am on daddy duty because Daisha is officially back in the gym. Um, if you haven't seen her vlogs, uh, check them out. She's vlogging again. Uh, I'll put the link to her channel in the description box. So I need to relieve her of her duties and look after the little terror. Uh, it's back home. Now she's about to get ready to go to the gym. Auntie Vicky's here. And the queen has arrived! <laughs> <laughs> Elijah. He does not care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, post-workout time. We have got... We're going to have a little bit of chicken and chips. A small amount of chicken and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry and Aisha's one. Do you realise you're a vlogger as well now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still going to have my post-workout shake, which... My lovely supplement cupboard. Full of bulk powder. Informed mass. Premium mass gainer. Thank you. Let's take a look at the macros. Come on, focus, you focus. All right, so 150 grams serving. We've got protein 45, carb 74, um, fiber 4.6, and fat 10. So yeah, it's pretty decent. You know, and I always, I always look at the ingredients to see where the, the oats are come. I gave it away without even knowing, knowing where the carbs are coming from and this one majority of the carbs are coming from ultra fine Scottish oats so um, yeah this has got like medium chain triglycerides, HMB, leucine, um, digestive enzymes it's a good product very good product there is a 15% discount code um, if you do want to get it I'm not going to push it on you it's there if you want it Gabriel 15 um, but yeah, I'm gonna have this chicken and chips and a protein shake and then probably have a carb coma, a <laughs> food coma, but I've still got some work to do. But yeah, daddy duty, they're leaving for in a second. <sighs> I feel like I've talked for a while. Demolished. Mm. Who's that? So whilst we're feeding Elijah, um, the Wendler 531 program. So for those that might want to try it but want to know what it's all about first is I'll see if I can find the link. It basically takes your one rep max and a percentage of it because what he says is it's not about training at your max all the time which is a mistake that I see a lot of people make. It's about um, training within your max but allowing progressive overload. So, you know, 190 is at my max, but I still had to do one rep today. And then the next cycle of the program, it will increase. Sorry, it's coming. Alright guys, so I'm back at Metroflex. <laughs> Straight up hustling. I've got a client now, she's competing in seven weeks. Um, so I see her, you know, once every month just to make sure everything's alright and to get in a training session. So she's here in hamstring today. Might show a few of the highlights from the session, but I'm so tired right now. So, so tired. And then I need to go and get some groceries. 
need to go Aldi and get some food because we out. So um, yeah, let's head inside and get this session done. Yes, what's going on guys? So I am back home, it is now 10 o'clock. Got caught up talking to people at the gym. Met one of my friends from like, from army cadets. Cause I was in army cadets from when I was like 15 to 18. Met one dude from like, back then. It was mad, mad to see him, mad, mad to see him. But um, yeah, the lighting's really crap in the car so I'm trying to like edge to, edge to the light. Don't, don't look at the light. But anyway. You can probably tell I'm tired. 10 o'clock, we're just gonna grab something to eat and then I'm gonna sleep because I am tired. So I'm gonna sign off here. I'll be, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you follow me. If you like the video, please like and share it with your friends. It really helps me out. Um, lets me know that you like the video as well. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, be true, lift big and stay small, baby. Peace.